What's going on everyone? It's Don Halfkenny here and I just had a blast with Filmmaking 101 with Keisha Lee TV. So I actually had a corporate job when I first moved here and I was watching television and I just knew that I wanted more for my life. I just knew that, you know, sitting behind a computer was not all that I wanted to do. And there's no, I see you like, girl, yeah, you, I understand, I feel you. <laughs> and to be honest with you, it's, I just knew that wasn't for me. I just knew that I wanted, to be, I wanted more for my life. And so um, I was watching television one day and there was an open casting call for a soap opera show, a very popular soap mm -hmm. opera show. I don't know if it was like General Hospital or something like that, mm -hmm. but it was one of those shows. And I had no acting experience whatsoever. Yeah. But I said, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna audition, and what can they say? They can just say, no, you can't act, and I'm just gonna keep it moving, <laughs> <laughs> right? And so mm -hmm. I, I went to the, well, first I went to work, and then I worked it out to where I can go audition. And um, at the that audition, I made it to the next round of callbacks. And then I made it to like the top 10. And for me, I feel like that's when I knew that this was my passion because the line was wrapped around the building the first day. Mm -hmm. And for me to have no acting experience, and you know, I could have easily got, uh, you know, I could have easily been like, okay, you know what, forget it, I'm not doing this because I was, I was looking at other ladies' uh, resumes and they had all these resumes yeah. and beautiful headshots and I did not get discouraged. I can, to, I can just continue to push forward. I said, you know, I'm just gonna be me. They just gonna, this, this is who I am. Out of 10 females, they picked one. I wasn't the one, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Cause like I said, that's when I figured, you know what, this is what I'm supposed to do. And this is what I'm going to pursue. But I want to go back to, I want to know what that corporate job was. Like, what were you doing? I, I want to start there and then I have some other stuff. Yeah, so I was actually in, I was in finance. Wow. I know, so I was in finance, but again, I just knew that I did not want to sit behind a computer and I just knew I wanted a, a change in direction for my career because to be honest with you, I still can be, I still keep in touch with many of those people mm -hmm. who I work with then and they're still there. Mm. And to me, I'm just like, you know, just a steady check, you know, coming at the same time, leaving at the same time. I, I just said, I, I just want more. I just knew that there's more that, you know, from my life and everyone's, you know, everyone is different. How did not getting a role give you the sign that this was for you? Because some people would say, well, you didn't get it. So how did you, not getting that role, mm -hmm. still give you that, that sign of this is for me? To be honest with you, I feel like that was a sign from God prepping me, uh, preparing me for the rejection of okay. this industry. Mm -hmm. Because being an actor, and it's so funny because I hear people say all the time, oh, Don, you book everything. Nope. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like th the last two weeks, I think I've been on like eight auditions and I got mm -hmm. one call back. And that's just a call back. That's not a, <laughs> that's just no, not a booking. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it just really, um, it's a drive, you know? I had a drive inside me and I was like, okay, so I know I don't get this, but I know as, as long as I continue to push forward, there is something, there is gonna be a yes. And so many people say, well, what, what's your favorite job? As long as I get a yes, as long as I book, then I'm thankful. I'm never the type of person to where like, oh, this is my favorite, oh, mm -hmm. this is, a, I'm just thankful to be working and uh, I'm succeeding in my career. Let's um, move a little, let's move forward to, mm -hmm. um, because I do wanna open the floor up. Absolutely. Let's talk about the Saints and Sinners. Woo! Saints and Sinners, honey! <laughs> let's talk about you and your character. Yes. Um, I guess, do a little background on how it came about first, because I want okay. folks to know the process, mm -hmm. and then just talk about the show, just whatever you okay. would love to share. Absolutely, well, when I first, when I first booked Saints and Sinners, you know, my mother, uh, and I share the story because I'm writing a book about her also, but she was in hospice. She was in hospice and she um, ended up passing a, a breast cancer. And so it was very hard for me because I just, re I just received the information that I booked the character. So I was like, okay, what do I do? Do I continue to pursue my dream or do I just, you know, stop everything that I'm doing? And of course, this is my mother and I was raised in a single parent home. And so that was very hard, but my mom was like, no. <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to continue to go forward and you know you're going to press on. Mm -hmm. And so I did that but so as we continue to uh, work on set it was still in my mind okay am I going to get this phone call and luckily for me at the time you know it was, Saints and Sinners was just beginning so it, it wasn't too much that I had to really uh, focus on mm -hmm. and um, I was able to luckily with my you know, being on set and being working with so many talented vets, they are they are so amazing. 
and uh, they had my bag and you know they were really cool and um, it, was, it was really nice working with them being in that um, being in that emotional state of mind. But from my character from being from season one to now a uh, season which we just wrapped to season four, you can see the growth. Yeah. And I'm so thankful. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, the very first episodes, you know, and uh, the very first season you see her uh, being this snoopy, you know, very sneaky type of character. She's still <laughs> sneaky and but she's about to her business. <laughs> she's about her business and she's in everybody's business and she's about, she's, she wants the power, yes. you know. But um, she's moved forward and you know, there's so many uh, great things uh, to come of Saints and Sinners, so I'm excited about it. One thing that I say is that we create opportunities. Yeah, yeah. We create yeah, opportunities, absolutely. we don't wait. Um, I just was in a, I just received an interview and someone asked me that too and I was like, it's not so much of, giving a chance. Mm -hmm. We don't wait for we don't wait for chances. We create them. Sure. Yeah, create opportunities. Don't wait for someone to to give you a job or directing or whatever situation. Say, you know what? Network with some people and then say this is what I do. I'm a director. I need this, this and this. Own it. That's it. Own it. Claim it. Yeah.